gravity is so large that even light can't get out is called a black hole. It's a star in which light itself is imprisoned. Black holes were theoretical constructs speculated about since 1783. But in our time, we've verified the invisible. This bright star has a massive unseen companion. Satellite observatories find the companion to be an intense X-ray source called Cygnus X1. These x-rays are like the footprints of an invisible man walking in the snow. The x-rays are thought to be generated by friction in the accretion disk surrounding the black hole. The matter in the disk slowly disappears down the black hole. Massive black holes produced by the collapse of a billion suns may be sitting at the centers of other galaxies, curiously producing great jets of radiation pouring out into space. At high enough density, the star winks out and vanishes from our universe, leaving only its gravity behind. It slips through a self-generated crack in the space-time continuum. A black hole is a place where a star once was. Here we have a flat two-dimensional surface with grid lines on it, something like a piece of graph paper. Suppose we take a small mass, drop it on the surface, and watch how the surface distorts or puckers into the third physical dimension. Gravity can be understood as a curvature of space. If our moving ball approaches a stationary distortion, it rolls around it like a planet orbiting the sun. In this interpretation, due to Einstein, gravity is only a pucker in the fabric of space which moving objects encounter. Space is warped by mass into an additional physical dimension. The larger the local mass, the greater is the local gravity, and the more intense is the distortion or pucker or warp of space. So by this analogy, a black hole is a kind of bottomless pit. What would happen if you fell in? Well, assuming you could survive the gravitational tides and the intense radiation flux, it is just barely possible that by plunging into a black hole, you might emerge in another part of space-time, somewhere else in space, some when else in time. In this view, space is filled with a network of wormholes, something like the wormholes in an apple, although by no means is this point demonstrated. It is merely an exciting suggestion. If it is true, then, Perhaps there exist gravity tunnels 
a kind of interstellar or intergalactic subway, which would permit you to get from here to there in much less than the usual time, a kind of cosmic rapid transit system. We cannot generate black holes. Our technology is far too feeble to move such massive amounts of matter around. But perhaps someday, it will be possible to voyage hundreds or thousands of light years to a black hole like Cygnus X1. We would plunge down to emerge in some unimaginably exotic time and place, our common sense notions of reality severely challenged. Perhaps the cosmos is infested with wormholes, every one of them a tunnel to somewhere. Perhaps other civilizations with vastly more advanced technologies are today riding the Gravity Express. It's even possible that a black hole is a gate to another and quite different universe. The surface of this water represents our universe. Everything we can see and touch and feel represented right here on the surface. And let's say this is us. Notice that we are stuck on the surface of this water. So we cannot leave our universe. That's us floating on the fabric of space and time. However, there could be another universe located at the bottom of this water. What we need is a bridge connecting two universes. Most physicists believe that nature allows parallel universes to exist, just like two separate planes of water. But is there a way to connect two planes that are completely isolated from one another? Water can be distorted into a whirlpool that connects the top and the bottom. Physicists like Michio have discovered that just like a whirlpool, space itself can bend and distort to form a pathway between two parallel universes, a pathway known as a wormhole. Now, a wormhole is a portal that allows you to go back and forth between two worlds, but they are potentially unstable. To stabilize them, we need a new substance called negative energy. Just like an oil-based solution pushes apart water, negative energy would push apart space itself. You see, this negative energy is anti-gravitational. Positive energy wants to collapse the hole. Negative energy wants to keep it afloat. However, with enough negative energy, you may be able to go right through the wormhole. Our entire civilization could move from one universe to another through a wormhole. And nature may have already given us the raw materials to build one. To actually create a wormhole, you would have to manipulate the power of a star. For a type three civilization, it would be child's play to get a ring of white dwarf stars. You could create a wormhole in slow motion by simply increasing the velocity of the stars and the number of stars, you can slowly open up a wormhole. This would be like the looking glass of Alice in Alice in Wonderland. And then you would add negative energy to stabilize it. In that way, you can create a wormhole.